Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So I'm so excited because today we're gonna be playing with the new Pat McGrath, um, Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence Eyeshadow Palette. I believe is how you say that one word, I'm not really for sure. But it is stunning packaging, stunning. I love it. Now, I really thought about this because it's $65 for six shadows, I think is what it was. But all of her, they're all pricey. Um, I don't want to say you're necessarily paying for the name because the quality is there. The, and then it's not just the quality, but the, um, it's different. It's then you really can't find it elsewhere, her shadows. Um, at least I have not been able to. Um, a lot of the palettes I find, I own them, but I don't gravitate to them. I love the formula to them, all of them. Um, they're, they're just perfect, but the coloring isn't for me, so to say. Now, the newest one, the Rose Divine, I think is what it's called. That one I wanted, but I didn't even know it was going on sale until it was already sold out. I didn't check my email, right? I'm so mad at myself for that. But there, there's one pink one. I can't think of the name. Hold on. I have it right here beside me anyway. This one here is the Blitz Astral in rose r r whatever rose i can't even say the name right now there you go <clears throat> i like it but this one here was calling to me the coloring in it even it is i mean it does got a gold here which is showing true to color over there um really they're all showing true to color from this angle except for this one, this one's more of a palish pink. I mean, it's only off by just a slight little bit, though. Just so you know. Um, but I feel like I can use this. And I feel like I can use this in everyday looks, even. Um, so, I, I do find myself, I do feel like I will gravitate to this. Um, I'm so excited. I got this yesterday. And me and my fiance was out and of course on a day I want to get home we're out all evening right and I was going to film last night even with this palette but by the time it was just too late but I am ready to go now for sure so I'm going to go ahead and let's see here I guess put the colors back on it like that or I'll put it up in the mirror. And it does have a nice little mirror in it even. I'm going to put the colors like this into the mirror. That way I can see what I'm dipping into. That way I can tell you. Because if you've watched the previous video to this. Um, the introduction to the channel. You will know I am not a makeup artist. A makeup guru. I have no makeup ability. Okay. Um, but I'm a consumer of makeup. A lot of makeup. Too much makeup. I admit it. I have an obsession with buying makeup, skincare, brushes, whatever else there is. I have an addiction. Perfume. All sorts of stuff. Nail polishes. <laughs> like I'm sitting here looking at it all going, what else do I have? That way you had to, you know, I'm not in the comments going, well, what about this and this and this, you know? So, I'm an addiction. I know this. I said it in the previous video that, you know, I'm that friend that will buy it no matter what. And then forget to return it too, because I don't do that. But I do want to play with this. Obviously, I'm not going to do this palette justice as far as this creative, outstanding look. But I feel like... I can do a decent everyday look um, as far as that goes. I feel like anybody can follow along. That's number one. 
and come out with the same look. Um, and I feel like and most people don't have that makeup um, background. So, you're kind of, you know, I, to me, I'm, I relate more to people that don't have that background. Because I'm like, okay, I see what she's doing now. Or I'm like, wait, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. So then I adjust my look when I see it from someone else. And I highly suggest you do that. You know, you, you do your own look. And if I'm doing something that's not supposed to be done or you think it's something better, let me know in the comments too because I want to try it, you know. I'm all for learning. But let's go ahead and hit this palette because I'm, I'm, I've been dying, like, so dying too. I get so excited of her palettes. So, the first color it looks like I'm going to go into is this, like, right here. And I believe it's called Tranquility. My little paper seemed to be flipped in this. You know what? Actually, I thought of something else too. I got this off the Pat McGrath website. Um, because Sephora shows it being on there, but Sephora shows it for coming soon. Still. So let me see if that has changed. That way, if you do want it, you have another option on possibly buying it. Um, Well, now it just says out of stock email. Mm. Or maybe it always said that. I thought it said coming soon. I don't know. I'll keep my eye on it again. But uh, as far as I know, Pat McGrath's website, that's where I got mine. Alright. So I'm going to go in with this color and see what Oh, I did already pre, um, uh, prime my eyes, uh, use the P. Louise in shade two. Yes, rumor two. Um, it came in also yesterday, so I did have another shade. I forget. It was way too dark for me, though. And I, uh, finally decided to make another Morphe order and order that because I wanted to try um oh I wanted to get some Jeffree Star products that's what it was I needed to restock my concealer because it's winter and I no longer tan but I'm not actually going to tan even in the summer this year because it is bad for your skin who knew Apparently not me. Goes to show I'm 40 years old and I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm using the Scott Bourne 6-2 to apply this color. And I have hooded eyes, so I kind of had to apply above the crease area. Because if not, nobody will ever see this color. Because when I look dead ahead, you really don't get to see any color, to be honest. Like, my whole lid just, it's gone. Because of the hooded eye. And I'm trying to think, like, I've not really actually looked, like, looking back. But, I used to weigh over 350 pounds. And, I lost a lot of the weight. And I don't know if when I lost the weight, this occurred, or if age, or if I've always had a hooded eye, or any number of things. Look at that. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Why is it doing that? I got a sample. 
I don't like that, though, that feeling. Uh, of the, you know, when you check out, you play smarter over so much, you can pick your sample. All right. So I got a sample of this lip gloss by Patrick Todd. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. But it's doing something wonky. Like, on the inside of my lip. Like, right there. Do you see that? Oh, I got... I don't know. And I just... Scrubbed my lips. But, anyway. I'll figure that one out in a minute. This is a nice color. Nice transition color. See, I feel like this palette could be used for an every, everyday looks. I really do. I really don't think anybody could not use this for an everyday look. Um, and again, I could be wrong. I don't think these shadows would be too... I mean, I guess some of them would be too light. It, I don't know. Like, I, I can only do my skin tone, you know what I mean? Because I don't have any other skin tone to really compare to. I mean, I know when I was like 10 or certain things didn't work that are now working for me, which I love. But at the same time, I'm like, man... Had I not have, you know, stopped tanning, I'd have never been able to use that stuff. But I actually did because I just used it for different stuff. Like, I was using it for eyeshadows if it was a blush that was too light or something. So, actually, there are things you can do. And I thought this shirt was just perfect for this look because this looks going to be so shiny and sparkly. Like, I'm so excited. Like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, this is my palette, you know? It's clean. There's nothing on it. This is the Bobbi Brown blending brush, I think. Eye blender. I'm I'm trying to like branch out to like other companies' brushes, 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 brush. brushes. Yeah, brushes is as far as going with that one. But um, because I'm wondering, you know. If it applies better the makeup or if it'll apply the same as the you know my real technique brushes so okay. I mean it's obviously it's a very light color on me I can see it I don't know if you can see it you should be able to right here yeah But it is a pretty color. Good um, transition shade. I'll spit it out sooner or later. Then I'm going to go in. I've been really loving this one brush right here. Loving it. It's by. Um, just set this down there. Uh, Tom Ford. It's the number 12. But it's like an angled brush. But it fits perfectly here in my inner corner for me to, you know, do my inner corner. And with that, I'm going to go in with this shade here. And I think it's called, yeah, Prosperity. Lord, don't we all need that then in the new year? As long as we get it the right way, you know? And I'm just going to do my inner corner here. 
Her outer corner, I mean. Darken it up. But these colors, oh my goodness, they just blend so easily. And they're great to build up if you want to build them up. Like, I just love, love, love her shadows. And again, like, the only thing I have is just sometimes they're just not, you know, right for me. The shades aren't. Doesn't mean they don't apply good. feel comfortable in the look and you can't own the look then you're not gonna be able to you know pass it off at least that's the way I feel so if I'm doing a look and I'm like just completely like nope I'm not gonna be able to pull this off this is too dark or this is just not gonna work you know then I don't pull it off like and it could look perfectly fine honestly but I, it just is what it is, you know. And I had to go so slow because I'm not a makeup artist. But I feel like I'm always going to go so slow because I feel like it, I don't know. And it could just be because I don't know what I'm doing, you know. And I'm actually taking that color all the way in my actual crease after tapping it on. And then I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown blender brush and take it in. Show motion. And then I'm going to go back into that first color.
I guess I never told you either about lighting and stuff, maybe. Maybe I did. So, the only lighting, because again, I'm trying to keep it truest to the natural look of everything, is A, I've got the ring light, which is holding the phone, obviously. Well, I guess not, obviously. But, it's holding the camera. And then, I have two windows in my bedroom, because we are in my bedroom. And that's where, I, you know, I get ready. And, uh, they're, you know, they got, like, coming through natural lighting just so you know okay. then I think I'm going to go in with and I knock everything over all the time too is what it is really you gotta kind of just go with it with me. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma E55. And it looks like this is called Moon Phase. And I'm gonna first just pick it up without like getting the brush wet because I just like to see how it applies. Because sometimes I'm not looking for that, you know, really bam effect. I'm okay with what it provides me just without it being wet or, you know, the brush being wet. And I'm okay with how that looks completely. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty. Can you see that? Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a wet look. Oh man. And I'm just putting that on the inner part, taking it right over to where I had to, you know, put the darker color. I'm just taking it right over to that. Mm -mm -mm. That is pretty. See, I'm telling you, I could use this every day and come up with different looks. I mean, at least a couple different looks anyway. I kind of wish I would have went into that pink, though, too. Because that pink looks pretty lotus looks. But I went into that already. No, I can't. I won't. But it's nice. Alright, and then I'm going to take a... This right here. Um, It's Kevin Aquan Small Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm going to take that first color, and I'm going to go on my lower lash line with it. I just like that color. It's like a peachy brown, in a sense. Yeah. See exactly how I describe it? A peachy brown color. I love it. Which, I mean, generally in her palette, she always has transition shades. Hmm. All right, then I'm going to take for the inner corner highlight. Mm -hmm. And 
um, I'm not going to get this one on either. And I'm going to go in with Eternal op Opulence. Opulence. I don't know. We got issues with that word. I'm going to have to try to figure that word out. And I'm just going to put right in the corner. Oh, wow. Again, like a wet look. Love it. Like a pearl. Oh, I don't wear pearls. Yay. Like a pinky pearl, though. Yeah, a slight pink pearl. I need to do something with these eyebrows, though, that's for sure. Date is crazy right now. They're all out of whack. I mean, like, I don't even know. I really don't. But you know what? I'm learning. And I feel like learning's about having fun, too. I mean, not all the time. But when it comes to this, when it comes to like your vision and artistry and all that, it's all about fun. Having fun doing what you're doing. Because if it's not fun, why are you doing it? You know? It doesn't make sense to me, to be honest. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. But anyway. Alright. So. Loving it. And I just feel like that's an easy look, you know? I mean, you can't really go wrong with that look. And I feel like, from a consumer's point of view, you know, I did pretty good. I did decent, so to say. And I'm just going to take that brush in here really quick because I don't know what I have on that brush. I don't know what I did. I really don't. Like, sometimes I just sit there and go, hmm. I have a love for Pat McGrath, I do. But this palette, she just won my heart big time. Won it. Like, I'm thinking this palette's going with me everywhere. I love it. It's my new favorite palette ever. And then, now there were some lip glosses that came with that. I didn't get those. I got these ones though from Sephora. I did mean to order them off of the website when I did place the order for that. And somehow, I don't know what happened, but I didn't. And I wish I did, but I didn't. It's one of those things. You wish, but you didn't, you know? But let me take this off, because I think I'd be alright with this for some things, but not like this. Not, no. No, it's just something. It's beautiful. Just does something like it's even now it's got it's leaving something on my lips. They're tacky. Alright. I apologize for the beeping. Actually let me turn it off because <clears throat> I don't know which one to open. I think this one. It has Christy, Beautiful Stranger, and Flesh 3. I kind of want to do the Flesh 3. Let's do it. Um, how do I 
open. And of course, you know I don't have scissors. Oh, yes, I do have scissors. I forgot. My eyelash scissors. Might as well come in for some of you, huh? Because I suck at putting my lashes on. It's a whole nother ball game there. And you know, as cool as this is, these little things that are put into this. Like, my daughter loves them. I don't find it very cool because I'm the one that has to pick them up. Alright, flesh three. Ooh. Oh, oh. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you guess like guys, I know my next lipstick pie is going to be. This is a matte lipstick. Alright, so this ain't the best of me applying lipstick. However, it's just about the color. And it's beautiful. Alright. Alrighty, so what did I just do? Here it is. Alright, now let's apply some mascara. And you know, I was actually going to just go ahead and stick with the Pat McGrath because I just feel like, why not? But I cannot find the mascara, and I know I have it. Fetish mascara, like I know what happened. Uh oh, I'm losing the brushes here. Let's put those right here. Right. But I have no idea where it is at this moment in time. Yeah, I put that one back in there because I never opened it. The other one I cannot put back in there due to the fact that I opened it and those things will spill all in my drawer. And then I'm the one that has to pick it all up. Now, I'm not going to lie about this, and somehow I have an eyeliner of hers too, but I don't know where that's at either, but I know I've tried the, her mascara, and because I've heard like these great reviews on it, right? However, I, I can't say that I am, like, it's not bad, but it's not like to die for, I hate to be the one to say that, but is that it? No. Um, it's not like that, so I don't know, and I know I have it, I know I didn't get rid of it, because I always keep, um, at least one of it, just because you never know, you know, if you're going to need it or not. At least that's the way I think. And I know I have it. It's just a question of where. There's my color problems. Um, uh, that's caution. Hourglass. That's hourglass. Okay. I can't even think of the name of the one to be honest with you. Hourglass. Oh, fetish eyes, that's what it's called. Why am I sitting here like I don't know the name of it? When I do, I just said it a thousand different times. And then I thought I left it in my Pat McGrath drawer because I do that and I tend to.
like if a brand has a door, I tend to leave it with the uh, brand. But it's not in that drawer and it's not over here. So, I don't know. You know what, don't, now that I'm thinking, I'm one, I've got a ton of these big distillers too. And the caution ones, apparently, because they're in like a triangular shape, so it's hard to deny them. But I am wondering now, um, if I uh, hadn't been using the if, I, if it wasn't the hourglass I was using and not liking, when I really liked the fetish eye one. I mean, I that, yeah. But regardless of any of that, I don't see any that mess. Oh, oh, it was in there. Fetish eyes, it's right here. And I think that's the eyeliner there even. All right, so let me put this stuff back in. Okay, see, now this is where it becomes problems. Look at this, and I dropped some. <laughs> Nobody needs that much mascara. Oh, but I'm trying it, you know? All right, let's curl the eyes. I am in love with this eye I do. I mean, it, I don't know, there's just something about her formula I like. And honestly, if anything, people it's the price tag that's the problem with everything because if you try her eyeshadow you really can't find fault in the eyeshadow itself it's the price of the eyeshadow All right, well, let's give it a try. Why not, right? What do we got to lose? And I've been using that Thrive Mascara, and whoo, now that's done a number. It makes my lashes long. But really, this is doing pretty good. But the question is, is do I look like a raccoon in a couple hours, too? Because anymore, since I've been using the lash serum, my eyelashes have been looking really good no matter what kind of mascara I use. However, um... I don't want to look like a raccoon. Now, as always, guys, I'm sorry, but I cannot use this on my bottom lashes. I know for a fact that only one so far. And you know this is my luck. I just put it away. Ugh. Um, it's the Mac Give Me Black. There's the Thrive Mascara right there. I need to keep it out because I do use it a lot. But anyway, it's the uh, MAC Give Giga Black 
lash mascara that doesn't uh, smear on my bottom lashes. And I went and lost it. And yes, I have a drawer that's MAC related, but it's not in there because I just had it in my hand. And I don't know where I put it or what I did with it because this is what I do. I lose everything if it wasn't attached to my head. I'd, if my head wasn't attached to my body, I'd lose my head. And my words don't come out right anymore. And I just don't know. Alright, so I don't know what to do. I guess we will be putting this on my vinyl lashes. Due to the fact that... Nope, oh, there it is. It was hiding from me. It does that a lot, too. Just let it beat it. Anyway. So, I'm just going to put that on my bottom lashes. And call it a day. And I think this look turned out very nice. And it was very easy to do. And if I had myself organized. <laughs> and if I didn't talk too much. Which I hope I didn't talk too much. Um, I'd have been done way sooner. But unfortunately, not the case. So, we are left with this here because of that. We're left with 42 minutes of what? Doing eyeshadow and a lipstick. But the lipstick's very pretty. Very bright. Very vampy. Um, I do like it. But here's the thing with this. This is the type of thing where I'm like, mm, don't know if I can pull this off. Now, my daughter, the, the, she, mm, any kind of vampy look. Loves it, loves to create it, loves to wear it. And she does pull it off. But I'm like, if you wore just a subtle look too, you're going to pull it off, you know? I, I, but trying to talk to her is like talking to a wall. But then again, she's, you know, when they're young like that, they know it all, right? I don't know when that ever changes though, because um, if you ask my mother, she'd probably say the same about me. I still know it all. And I don't know anything. That's my newest thing. I don't know anything at all. But this is the look. I personally love the palette. I think that it was easy to use. I think that you could come up with a good bit of looks. It's definitely every day. Um, mm, I don't, I don't want to say it's a boring palette because it's not. It's very pretty. Um, but is it kind of borderline on that? Yeah, it is. It, it is kind of borderline on that. But if you have the money and you want to support Pat McGrath and you like the look or you like the eyeshadow in the palette, highly suggest you get it. You won't be disappointed. Um, if you don't have the money, don't get it. It's that simple. Like I said, is it something every day? Yes. So, could you find not that formula anywhere else? No. But could you find something like that, you know, and get the same look? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. But it just is up to what you're willing to spend and what you want out of a look. I personally, I like her formula. I find it easy to work with. And I'm the type that, because I don't know what I'm doing, I need the products to kind of do the work for me. I need those tools to blend it for me. I need those shadows to blend with the tools for me. Because up here isn't going to create anything, you know? So if it was something that, like, you, if it was something, seriously, I had to build, to build, to build, just to get a light shade. Girl, I'm going to be here forever ever okay because as you can see it's been 45 minutes into this and I'm done now again don't 
that's not because of me having issues blending, obviously. You watch me do the eyeshadow. It's just getting there and then stop talking and end the video type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I do hope you liked this look and I hope you um, got what you needed um, as far as, you know, how the palette performed from, again, a beginner, you know, perspective. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you are notified when I do upload any upcoming videos. And leave me a comment. Um, tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me if you got the palette. Tell me if you didn't have the palette. Tell me why you got it. Tell me why you didn't get it. Tell me anything. I need to know something in this world, you know? So until next time, guys, enjoy yourselves. Stay safe. And have fun with makeup. Bye.